Before we dive into the fascinating story of the Barclay brothers, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing content like this. Have you ever wondered what it's like to be at the helm of a multi-billion dollar empire? Our story today starts with two brothers, David and Frederick Barclay, who dared to dream that big. But before they were titans of industry, they were just two young men stepping into the world of business. Born into a working-class family in Hammersmith, London, the Barclay brothers' journey to the top was far from a straight line. Their father, Frederick Hugh Barclay, was a traveling salesman, and their mother, Beatrice Cecilia Taylor, worked as a dressmaker. The boys grew up in a modest environment, but their ambitions were anything but. David and Frederick Barclay began their professional lives in the accounts department of the General Electric Company. It was a humble start, but one that provided them with a solid foundation in the world of business. They learned the ropes, absorbed the nuances, and began to understand the intricate dance of numbers that underpinned successful enterprises. However, it wasn't long before they realized that their ambitions were not going to fulfill within the confines of an office. They craved more, they yearned for a chance to shape their own destiny, to build something of their own, and so, they started their first business venture, a small property company. This was their first taste of the thrill and of entrepreneurship, and they were hooked. The Barclays' early life was marked by hard work, determination, and a relentless pursuit of their dreams. They faced their share of setbacks, but each one only served to fuel their ambition. They learned, they adapted, and they grew. They understood that success wasn't handed to you on a silver platter. It was earned through perseverance and a willingness to take risks. From these humble beginnings, the Barclay brothers were set to conquer the world with their business acumen and ambition. Little did they know just how far their journey would take them, and the empire they would build along the way. The stage was set for a tale of ambition, success, and power that would captivate the world. The path from an accounts department to a billion-dollar empire isn't a straight line. It's a journey filled with twists and turns, marked by keen eyes spotting golden opportunities where others see dead ends. This is the trail blazed by the Barclay brothers, Sir David and Sir Frederick, whose fearless strategy and relentless ambition propelled them to the zenith of capitalist success. Their empire, built on the pillars of media, retail and real estate, is a testament to their talent for transforming the ordinary into the extraordinary. Imagine a corporate constellation, each star a successful venture shining brightly in the Barclay universe. First, there's Ellerman Lines. Once a commanding force in the shipping world, this company navigated the high seas of international waters with the ease of a seasoned sea dog. It was the first significant acquisition of the Barclay brothers, setting the tone for their future endeavors. Next, we have Littlewoods, a retail giant with a history as rich as any treasure chest. From catalog sales to high street stores, Littlewoods has clothed and catered to generations of Brits, making it a household name. Its acquisition by the Barclays was a clear demonstration of their ability to spot value where others could not. Then darting across the UK with parcels and packages is Yodel. This courier extraordinaire added a new dimension to their empire, showcasing the brothers' knack for diversification, and finally the crown jewel, the Telegraph Media Group. Wielding the mighty pen, or should we say keyboard, as its sword, TMG brings news, commentary, and insights to a thirsty audience. In an age of information, it's like the town crier and the printing press rolled into one, delivering the word to the nation's doorsteps and screens. Their trophy case of acquisitions shone brightly, epitomized by their purchase of the Ritz Hotel in London. This opulent haven, an emblem of their success, underscored their appetite for the lavish lifestyle and marked a triumphant milestone in their journey of building an empire. With billions at their disposal, the Barclay brothers had an appetite for the finer things in life. Their wealth wasn't just a set of numbers in a bank account. It was a golden key that opened doors to a world few can even imagine. Let's journey through the grandeur of their lavish lifestyle, marked not just by opulence, but by a distinct taste for the extraordinary. The Barclays, true connoisseurs of luxury, amassed a collection of prime real estate that would make even the most seasoned property moguls green with envy. Palatial homes in the most coveted locales, from the glittering skylines of cosmopolitan cities to the serene vistas of secluded getaways, their real estate portfolio was a testament to their love for grandeur. But their penchant for luxury didn't stop at stationary properties. 
The brothers were also fond of the high seas, and their collection of yachts was nothing short of breathtaking. These floating palaces, decked out with every imaginable amenity, served as their private retreats, away from the prying eyes of the world. Among the luxurious fleet, one vessel stood out, the Lady Beatrice. More than just a yacht, the Lady Beatrice was a symbol of their staggering wealth and unapologetic indulgence. With its sleek design, state-of-the-art features and unparalleled comfort, this floating marvel was a clear reflection of the opulence the Barclay brothers enjoyed. And when the sea was not enough, the Barclays took to the skies. Their collection of private jets was yet another testament to their lavish lifestyle. These airborne sanctuaries offered the ultimate in travel luxury, allowing them to traverse the globe in comfort and style. But their wealth wasn't just a ticket to luxury, it was a means to an unparalleled experiment in sovereignty and power. Imagine having so much wealth that you could buy and transform an entire island. This is not a figment of imagination, but a reality for the Barclay brothers. Sir David and Sir Frederick Barclay did not stop at building a business empire, they embarked on an audacious journey to create their own private political playground. Their destination? The small island of Breco, tucked away in the English Channel, a stone's throw away from the coast of France. The brothers' takeover of Breco was nothing short of a masterstroke. They didn't just purchase the island, they transformed it, altering century-old laws and reshaping its governance. They constructed a grand neo-Gothic-style castle, complete with a helipad, vineyard, and swimming pool. But the transformation was not merely physical. The brothers also implemented a unique tax regime, leveraging their fortune to grow their wealth even further. Despite the island being part of the bailiwick of Guernsey, the Barclays insisted on their autonomy, a move that caused more than a few raised eyebrows in the United Kingdom. They argued that Breco was not officially part of Guernsey, and therefore they were not subject to its taxes or laws. Instead, they established their own legal system, essentially creating a private political playground where they held all the cards. This audacious move was not without controversy. It drew criticism from some quarters and led to legal battles. However, the brothers were undeterred. Their vision was clear, and they had the resources to see it through. Through their actions, they demonstrated that their wealth was not just a means to luxury, but a tool to shape their own reality, to bend the world to their will. The Barclay Brothers Island takeover is a testament to their boldness and ingenuity. It is a story of how they used their wealth to not only build a business empire, but to create their own private kingdom. Their tale serves as a fascinating study of wealth, power, and ambition. The Barclay Brothers didn't just build a business empire, they created their own private political playground. The Barclay Brothers' journey is more than just a tale of wealth and power. It's a narrative that has left an indelible mark on the landscape of global business, a testament to their sheer audacity, inventiveness, and relentless drive. As they navigated the high seas of commerce with their diverse empire, the brothers charted a course that many would follow, pushing boundaries and setting the pace in a constantly evolving world. They demonstrated that wealth, when married with vision and courage, could open up avenues far beyond the ordinary. Their influence extended beyond the boardrooms and the marketplaces. In the UK, their reach permeated the media landscape, shaping public discourse and opinion through their ownership of the Telegraph Media Group. They wielded power not just in terms of pounds and pence, but in the realm of ideas and narratives, influencing the course of events from behind the scenes. Yet their legacy is not without controversy. Their audacious takeover of a small island, transforming it into their own personal dominion, raised eyebrows and questions about the unchecked power of wealth. It's a stark reminder of the potential pitfalls when ambition and wealth are left unchecked, a cautionary tale about the balancing act between enterprise and ethics. Their story also underscores the transformative power of ambition. From humble beginnings in the accounts department of the General Electric Company, they rose to heights few could dream of, let alone achieve. Their journey shows us the power of daring to dream big and the unwavering commitment to turning those dreams into reality. Ultimately, the Barclay Brothers story is a testament to the power of ambition and the limitless potential of wealth when wielded with audacity and vision. It's a narrative that continues to resonate, a beacon that illuminates the endless possibilities and challenges that come with wielding enormous wealth and power. 
Having journeyed through the extraordinary lives of the Barclay brothers, we hope you found this deep dive informative and engaging. If this story of audacity, vision, and power resonated with you, please hit the like button. Your support keeps us going. We're also keen to hear your thoughts. Do you think the Barclays' audacity was inspiring or controversial? What lessons do you take from their journey? Share your insights in the comments section below. If you found this video enlightening, consider sharing it with your friends and family. Let's stir up a conversation about the power of ambition, the potential pitfalls of unchecked wealth, and the balancing act between enterprise and ethics. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Thanks for watching.